What's going on boys? No guys here. Welcome back to another video. And today's video we have a squad builder for you. So I got five meta teams for you. 50k, 100k, 150k, 250k and 500k. And the way I've done it is that you can progressively build up to this team without losing too much money. I'll explain that how that all goes in. So don't skip to one section, copy the team and start crying after. You're going to have to watch the entire video. Now the first squad we're going 50k team. 50k is a good amount of money that anyone can buy. And to be honest, I wanted to make a proper meta team. I'm talking about good pace centre backs, good pace CDMs, dynamic sims that can do everything. And of course, top tier strikers. Now, if you want the tactics, um, check out my tactics video yesterday. Um, but I can tell you what tactics roughly to use for each one. So we're going to go through the first one. This is the first 50k team. It's actually a really, really good team. Um, I've got Malin in there. If you want to, um, you could sub out Malin. And you can put um, a more of a defensive player. So this is more if you're playing, for example, a very attacking 3-5-2. Or if you want to play a 4-2-3-1, all you got to do is just sub this guy out. Now, I'll be honest, I would go, I was going to say go ahead and get Goretzka, but this year he's so cracked. So there's not that many, I would say, high-tier players that are really, really good um, for midfield. There is a few. Um, Sabit says, what are the one of the best ones you can get on the low end or Lamus? Either one of these two guys, and you can sort of team out like that. What I would say is in a 4-2-3-1... I will have Morales in striker just because very simply he's got um, the four star four star so he can do the new skill moves as well. You can do the skilled bridge. He's got decent um, shot pound finishing so he's good for those long shots outside the box and he's got outside of foot shot trait. Perfect. And then what I'll do is Porto as a camp or Matches because Matches is like a second strike as well. He's got a really, really good agility and balance. Got some really good long shots. Another four star four star play. Exceptional play if you ask me. And that is the back line. And they're very, very cheap. And if you want to change, for example, to a 3-5-2, you can do the exact same thing. And all you're doing is the exact same thing, moving the players around. And if you want, you can keep Malin as I did inside. That's where the best 50k team that money can buy. There is other teams you can buy. There is like a Serie A team as well. Um, but the way I've done it is I wanted all these players in there so I could progressively build it up. And that was the most important thing for me. Emery Champs, one of the best centre mids in the game. Akanji, Zikio will last you a very long time. And Promes, Morales and Matches is the best you can buy up until 100k. When you get to about 100k, realistically, the best you have realistically is like Dembele. But he's like 60k. Are you going to spend 60k on one player? Probably not. Uh, then moving up to the second one. So you can't. You can either continue to build up progressively. So you can go ahead and get Ben Yedda in the team. So what you can do literally is replace Ben Yedda. So this is your first choice. So let's say that's your team. You want to get this one. Just carbon copy and paste it. But you can basically keep Ben Yedda here. And you can just put a Bamba there. That's the way that I've done it. This is the 100k team. Um, I was going to build it with Dembele plus a 40k team. But everyone keeps crying that I keep. Because remember last year I put Neymar on everyone's team. That's over a million coins. And everyone kept telling me off. So I've gone with no fullbacks this year. I know I, I ruined that. But like I've, I've gone with just meta players here. Two centre backs, top tier pace. Kim Pembe, really, really good. Left back and right back got pace. Rambisaka, I'll give you a little trick. He's one of the best centre backs in the game. I'm using him in centre back right now. I know the centre backs, full back centre back have been nerfed, but it's only defensive awareness. If you manually defend, the drill team balance and pace still exists. As long as they've got the high defensive work rates, you are fine. Um, and that's what I would say. Um, you've got two of the best centre mids now. Fred is the best centre mid I'm using right now. Um, I have him with his shadow. One of the best centre mids I've used. High, high, four star, four star. Can bring the ball going forward. Put a hunt to enemy in attack. He can do everything. Make sure you have him in your team. We've got a perfect link. I got Rambisaka, Fred, and Mora. The three hybrid, not hybrid, but the three links that create the hybrid, I suppose you can say. We've got Ben Yedda with a five star weak foot, high agility, balance, high finishing. And it's the exact same thing. Now, we put Renato Sanchez in there. If you don't want Renato Sanchez, you can change it. But I left him in just to give Jonathan David full chemistry. Um, but if you want, you can change formation. It will achieve the same thing anyway. Um, but you can go, of course, uh, with that new card. Of course, you lose a bit of chemistry over there. Um, but that is completely and totally fine. Um, you could also go with that new card. Is that um, there's, I think his name is Claude. Claude Maurice. Pardon my French. Um, but uh, that is another card that's actually very, very effective. So you can go either one of those. You want to go for a more like a centre mid option. And you can put um, Jonathan over here. So if you're going to play, let's say, in theory, you're going to play, I don't know, um, a 4-5-1 or let's say a 3-5-2 or 4-2-3-1. The way I'll line up is something like this. So if I go to a 4-2-3-1, Ben Yedda will go in striker. Luke Small would stay in cam. It won't go anywhere else. I put a finisher chemistry star hunter on um, Ben Yedda. This is when you start buying the cards with a chemistry star because you got the money. And then you put Fred and Renato Sanchez over here. And the back line stay the same. Try to get a shadow on the entire back line. CDM shadow. 
finisher for all these guys and a hunter for Ben Yedder. Um, then we're going to move over now uh, to the 150k team. So um, just a bit extra. So we've gone with some top tier players that we can actually fit in. So what I've done is this is the way that I've done it. Um, Hazard, Morales, Dembele, Carrasco, Jesus Navas, Maria Hermoso, Diego Carlos, Asenio, Lodi. Now, if you want to increase the price of this to about 150, you can by getting to Stegen in. Um, but I deliberately made it just a bit under just in case you can afford it. Another thing you can do is, of course, is you can get rid of Morales and you can put Ben Yedda in. Um, ben Yedda will still get the chemistry, but then you're locked with this midfield. Just do that and you can get him on eight. Um, if you want to, one other thing you can do is you can get rid of this guy and you can put Bamba in. Put Bamba in and you've got the same thing and then you get Valverde on 10 chemistry. And that pushes it to about, about 200k. So it's a bit more on the expensive side, but again, it's the exact same thing. But this way, at least you've got a really good setup. You've got Ben Yedda in striker, you've got Valverde and Camavinga in Camving is one of the best cinemas you can buy for money. Um, honestly, I don't think there's a better cinema because Fred's about 8k. Uh, for 3k, I don't think there's a better cinema in the game. A top, top tier card. 4 star, 3 star. High, high work rate. Spend a striker. Um, I'll put Dembele in cam just because I like to do the first time spin skill move. Um, but of course, you can move that along. If you're playing a 4-4-2, you just play Dembele and Ben Yedda as strikers. And Bamba and Carrasco on the wings. And of course, you've got the top tier defense. Um, the def defensive stats. And of course, you've got the pace as well. Um, again, same thing here, Shadow, 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 or maybe even Anchor, um, but I'll still go Shadow all these guys, Shadow CDMs. I would say Finisher, um, Hunter, Finisher, and Hunter for the chemistry stuff for these players. Um, now we're going to move over to now the more expensive teams. We're going to go over to 250, very, very similar to this team. Very, very similar, just a bit better upgrades. Um, so you put Lacroix in, uh, one of the best center backs that money can buy. He's stabilizing at 40k now, thank God. We got Klosterman and Lacroix um, and Neuer. So that is probably the best three combination you can probably get in the game right now. Par Varane, etc. etc. So 88 pace, 85 pace, and Neuer, a top, top tier card. And we know how good goalkeeper kicks now from goal from goal kick art. We've got Shaw's left back and right back. We've got Babu on the best right backs in the game as well. We've got Emery Chan, one of the best CDMs in the game. And then we've got Zachary, another top tier card. Or is always known as a cheap Vieira and put a shadow on him. And of course he is God tier as well. And of course he's the six foot three height. This is a top top tier card. For going up front, we kept Dembele in. Um, he is on lower chemistry, but that's fine. We've got Nabri and then we've got Gelsa, Martins and Ben Yedda. So it's kind of the same thing over here. If you are going to go for a 4 4 2 or 4 2 3 1, Ben Yedda goes striker, of course, Emre Chan there. And I'll say put Nabri in camp because he's got decent passing and he's got decent shooting and pace. So what you can do is a long shots now. We know the finesse shot meta is there outside the box, the FIFA 19-esque meta. It's kind of like FIFA 13, L1 triangles, FIFA 19 finesse shot meta, what it appears to be right now. Um, but you buy this guy on a hunter, he's an absolute beast of a card. You put a finisher on him, he's really good. You put a dead eye on him then it becomes a long shot beast. So it's up to you whichever you want to put. I will say Deadeye because it gets that short passing boost and it gets a long shot boost. If you're going to use that finesse shot meta, you know, this is definitely the team for you to pick. You've still got Ben Yedda, the marksman striker. Gelson and Dembele, you can put a finisher on them. Shadow on both of these guys. And for the rest of the back line, I would say, I would say personally, anchor, shadow, shadow, shadow. Just because left back and right backs, People are still going for pace, and I think L1 triangles are so effective. If you know you're bad defending, you need to be able to at least compete in that line. Now, going over to the final team, this is the 500k team. Um, a top, top team. team. I don't think you can really get better. You can maybe get Lacroix um, La in if you really, really want to. That's the only other card you can probably get instead of a Kanji. Um, but I know people always cry to me about chemistry. Now, I know Norm believed me at first about chemistry. First was full backs and center backs, but if you want to want 10 chemistry then be my guest but we have to negate um negotiate on Marshall being on seven he'll get eight if you put a French manager in um but again it's the exact same thing but this way wants the sun in now sun in my opinion he would have been the 250k team but since he's the price of the entire team he will not fit the 250k team so if you've got about 300k 250k I would strongly say buy sun and then build up the rest around him this guy will be one of the best cards in the game for three reasons. One, he's because he's got a five star weak foot. Two, he's high high. Three, you put a hunter on him. He's already got the long shot shot power and finishing. He's already got that. Think about the finesse shot meta. You add this guy, you put him in cam behind your striker. Finesse shot meta, five star weak foot. He'll be like a cheap Nedved. So if you got the money for Sun, you gotta buy him. I it's, remember like last year, I said if you got 1.2 million coin team, you buy you 
by name my 100k you build a crap team around him it's the exact same thing emory chan one of the best cdms in the game i'm actually using him and fred right now as my cdms he has risen in price um quite effectively but one of the best dynamic center mids in the game. We put Camavinga in there just for the chemistry. Um, but if you want, you can always sub him out later. But he gets the job done. And it's the exact same thing. So we're going to go to a 4 2 3 one we got Ben Yed over there. If you want, you can put someone like Sizoko instead of Camavinga if you really want a defensive player. Um, I would personally go ahead and put Sun in striker and Ben Yedder there. That's the way that I would do it. If you are going to play a 4 4 2, of course, you'll play Sun and Ben Yedder up front and the back line stays the same. So you can see, in effect, it's one of the best teams that money can buy. Um, and don't forget, the 4 5 1 formation is the reason. It's because you get the regular on link to Sun and you get everything else in place. Emery Chan, of course, gets the green links. So it's up to you how you want to do it. And the second option is if you want to get Suzuka, because Suzuka is a really good French CDM, you can put him in, you get Martial on 10, and all you simply do over here is you get someone like Navas, and there you go, you get the job done of getting Dembele on 10, because don't forget, you want the attackers to be on 10 chemistry, the left back and right backs, whether they have seven chemistry, is the end of the world? No, same with wingers, but if you can get the attackers on 10 chem, your striker should be prioritized first, then I would say your centre backs and CDMs, and then your left back and right back and left mid and right mid. The ones that shoot the least, then are the prioritised the least. And that is probably the best thing you get for 500k right now. You want to build against around the top tier player. If you want, you can get likes of Griezmann on build like that. But that is probably the best thing that you can get right now for 500k. Anyway guys, hope you enjoy this meta team. Don't forget, this is a meta team. I'm not going to sit here and drop you cards that got like 70 pace because... That's not what I'm here for. My job is to give you the best possible teams. And we know how clunky Leicester dribbling is this year. So agility and balance is still at the forefront. Anyway, don't forget to, of course, like, comment, share, and subscribe. And don't forget my Patreon series. I got a full list of starter squads for all budgets from 10k, 20k, 30k, 40k, 50k, all up to 1 million coins. And you can progressively build, and that shows each incremental stage. Patreon.com forward slash nil guides. Link is down below in the description. You sign up now, you get your money back for September. I'm just messaging me, I'll refund you immediately. So you get September free and then you stay for October. Thanks for watching, boys. Take it easy and I'll catch you next time. Peace out.